Hi, Super Spruce here, Battler and Tomato Adventures, new game minus 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 video, episode 12. And it's just been an hour or so since last episode, so it isn't all, all that much different. I think, yeah, I can get two tick speed boosts, which should help me get more galaxy points quicker, hopefully. I, I sort of don't want to do the two runs at this point, like, since I've already waited like an hour for this, but I'm, I'm, I'm still a three, you know, I'm gonna have to do it like this. It's unfortunate. I, I, you know, you know how much I hate like resetting without getting any boost. Like that is the worst feeling to reset without getting a single boost to your production. Like you, you, you need a, some sort of boost to have satisfying progression. That's, that's the thing. So, it's not really much I can do. Hopefully this gets me two. This does. So, oh, stupid rounding error. It's a, it's a rounding error. I, I hate rounding errors. I have to do an entire run just because I got a rounding error. Where essentially it says five, but I probably have like 4.8 or something. So, it's just not, not quite enough. But I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna do it right here just to get the one. I get this, which should help increase, should help me push a little bit farther than last time. I'm already noticing it's getting a lot faster. Yeah, it's, it's much faster. It's actually a great upgrade. I didn't even expect, I didn't expect it to be this good, but it is this good. Actually, but, but I can't even get that far just because of, uh, I don't know, just, just because... I can't get like the as many galaxies as before, so I could push to 40, but really it's not worth it. I have it says I have four galaxy points, but really I'm gonna need to get two to prevent rounding errors because nope, nobody likes rounding errors, and yeah, they're they're just they're evil. Rounding errors are evil. Hopefully when I get when I get 30, I can get three. That gives me a two time production. Mult or two times, yeah, two times dimension, um, two times multiplier to all dimensions. That's that's what I was trying to say. It's it's not that hard to say. You can also like go for the tick speed boosts. Could go for forty eighth dimensions this time around because it's significantly quicker. But maybe it's not worth it. I I I I, I want. Okay, maybe I should just get like forty so I can get four galaxy points instead of and, instead of. Three, maybe that's yeah. Look at this. Four. Now that'll get me this. That's where. That's when I can start actually trying to get twenty galaxy points because now I can start getting more galaxies. It just means more production and more importantly, more galaxy points. So it's really the galaxy points that that really make up what the bulk of what the production would be. So again, well time sacrifices do help. I get nine galaxy points at this point, but I may want to go a little bit farther, at least for, for the first run. Just, I don't know, just like to get 20 galaxy points. Let's see, this gets me 13. So I, I can just get nine the next run. That will get me the, the nine times multiplier to galaxy points, which, you know, that's gonna, that's gonna make it that that's yeah that in, inflates the entire thing and and that's what I feel that's where I feel like I can start really getting a boost to to just like remember like the I now have a per ten dimension multiplier you, can, you just keep seeing one point one all over the place because that's the that's essentially the per ten dimension multipli multiplier I have even though it's more like one point oh four times but it's yeah it's more it's more than zero point it's no, it's more than one. So that's really all that matters. And there's 85 galaxy points enough to get this, which is a 600 times multiplier on on all dimensions, which, as you can imagine, that's overpowered, and that'll easily allow that'll easily allow me to get to to a lot of yeah. It'll just it'll easily allow me to get more galaxy points and get this, which increases dimension boost the product or the power of dimension boosts. And it's, it's just, it, the speed is insane at this point. We can do this, we're up to 48th dimensions. 
212 galaxy points. We can probably get even more. Actually, you start getting more of these. Oh, that, that was a galaxy right there. Our galaxies are the most powerful thing they can do that, um, that will help your just uh, help get the galaxy points. The galaxies help the galaxy points. That's, yeah, pretty easy to remember. So I'm just going to get 70 eighth dimensions. I'm not even sure if it's best to get 70 eighth dimensions, but that's what I'm doing. So there's 700 galaxy points. So I should be able to get a thousand without much trouble I just it, it, it's it's, cr it's crazy how fast it is once you see, once you get it going the only problem is like just all these resets they have to do like uh, I mean that's that's sort of the problem with something with so many prestige layers they keep having to do all these layers of resets once it starts to get faster that so yeah you do have to deal with that but it I don't even think it's that bad. And yeah, we're instantly up to 70. We can get up to 80 eighth dimensions. And that should easily allow us to get uh, more galaxy points, but actually we can get another galaxy. So yeah, each additional galaxy, I don't know, it, it's like, it just gives me like, I would, I would say it's at least a three times multiplier on my galaxy points. So like, I think I would think I'd like 700 to 900, somewhere around there. Yeah, now I have 2,000 galaxy points. Okay, it wasn't a three times multiplier, but it was pretty close. And I think it's just two more runs until infinity, honestly. This run, and then the next one for even more galaxy points, that one will be the one that will get me all the way to infinity. So, I'm, I'm trying to strategically not reset with the tech speed boost, even though it sometimes doesn't work, because I still have to do the resets with the tick speed boosts. But let, let's see, this is 100 8th dimensions. So we're at 2,000 galaxy points. We should be able to get the next galaxy already. Which, is, it's, it's crazy. We, yeah, we need just um, Sexacantillion, we are essentially there. That's another galaxy, which means that that's just gonna mean more galaxy points. It's more everything. Can actually even do get all the way up to 110 without resetting from the tick speed boosts. Let's see, that, that was a waste. Don't do that. Just keep just keep going for it. I'm not sure if I I I can get 130. Actually, it's right here, so I'm just gonna get it. And I think 130 is as, as far as I'm gonna go here. Um, yeah, that, that was just 130. That gets yeah, it gives me so many galaxy points that. It's enough, I think at this point, it's enough to get me all the way to infinity. If, it, yeah, I, I really think that's 18,000 galaxy points. I should, especially like with this multiplier per 10 dimensions, I should be able to get all the way to infinity. So, yeah, let's keep, let's keep doing this. Let's see if I don't, okay, I'm just going to do this so I don't reset with the tick speed boost because that is super annoying. Uh, that yeah, it's weird. That it's weird that that's a strategy that I had to do to help speed up the game. That was a waste. I misclicked. Could have definitely gone more. Okay, yeah, I got two right there, and now is that like a higher amount? Which usually that means it's harder to get rather than easier. But yeah, you can you can just see it's. I I I do think the multiplier per ten dimensions is a pretty minor boost, but definitely is. I, I, I think I do feel like it is affecting the speed of the runs. Um, I, I sort of don't want to do another whole other galaxy run, even even though it gives me so much. Just I just don't I don't feel like like doing an entire run. Maybe it's worth it. I I have no idea if it's actually worth worth it or not. Rather than just getting another galaxy, which should pretty easily get me to or hopefully pretty easily get me to infinity so yeah we're at 170 eighth dimensions you should probably easily be able to get 180 eighth dimensions and then with the sacrifices should you know or quattro non agantillion so that's just a few orders of magnitude away from infinity 
and I, I'm probably just gonna wait this out because I, I technically I can get 200 eighth dimensions now, which is interesting, but I don't really need it. It's better just to wait until I get infinity. I can get almost 310,000 galaxy points. But here, here we go. Oh yeah, we need unsentient. Actually, may, it may be worth it. Maybe just for the dimension boost instead of the tick speed boost because tick speed boost is gonna reset more. Okay, yeah, we need unsentient, not just sentient. 400,000 galaxy points right there. Maybe it was worth it to get the galaxy. But here we go. Big crunch. That actually gets me an achievement. And I actually get a multiplier to galaxy points. Because let's see how, how long the run even was. It was an hour and 33 minutes. So that I, I, that really does. Um, so I get a multiplier to galaxy points based on fastest infinity. So five hours over X. So it's about one and a half hours. So that, that's a, it's a little, okay, it's about an hour and 40 minutes, about third, so it's about, that's about a three times multiplier to galaxy points. There, and at 10 times, there's a soft cap, which just, which means it's going to be weaker after 10 times. But having a three times multiplier to galaxy points is going to be legendary. Is, is, I wonder if there's a good reward for the 10, no, there's, it's just start with 200,000 antimatter, not, not, nothing big. This one is amazing. 3-10 multiplier galaxy points, that that's gonna really change up the runs. So and I'm just I'm just looking if there's anything um I know New Game Minus Minus had a amazing reward for this one, but no there's no reward. Or it, there is a reward, but it's not an amazing reward. It's just a it's just a thing that'll help a little bit. This one is this one's actually pretty good. It's two times multipliers, which is decent. Not the Biggest thing, this one, keep galaxy upgrades on infinity. That that's probably the big one. That that's the one I'm gonna need. Because then I don't have to grind or I still I think I still may need to grind some galaxy points, but not as much. And there's also this one, which I'll eventually go for. And I'm just trying to notice if there's anything else that has really good rewards. And nothing else in the first four rows without that have amazing rewards so yeah hope you enjoyed peace out